Okay, so let's take a look at another way that we can reduce our on-screen text, and this time by pretty much replacing most of our text with either graphics or with animations. So in the last example, we started out with this uh, pretty standard slide where the narration comes in and then the, the, the bullet points sync with um, the narration. Pretty standard. But we want to get to uh, a point where we can keep the narration but then remove for the most part, all of this text. So let's take a look at a couple of ways we can do that. And actually, let me go ahead and just show you the final version, then we'll kind of step back and see how we got there. So let me go ahead and just click this next one. When using a fire extinguisher, use the pass system. Pull the pin to release the lock hatch. Aim low and point the nozzle at the base of the fire. Squeeze the handle to release the extinguishing agent. And sweep from side to side. Okay, so in this example, we didn't use really any new graphics other than the, uh, the, the fire flame and the wastebasket. The rest of the graphics were all part of the initial uh, fire extinguisher clip art. We just created some icons for each of the phases, and these icons could actually be uh, branching links that would actually further explain each of the steps. But let's go ahead and just jump back to our storyboard, our script. So I'm gonna jump back over to actually to Word, and one of the techniques I like for trying to identify when I'm trying to remove a lot of the text, so again, the, the script is more of an information-based e-learning course where we're presenting information and steps, and then there might be some basic assessments. But we're looking for some ways to really um, transform or really just communicate whatever we have in our narration into images. And what I like to create is this separate column uh, called the Media Concepts column. And from there, I kind of go through each of the lines in the script and then try to find the significant points and the ways that I might be able to communicate those. So the whole point here is to find possible concepts or images or graphics or illustrations to use. Um, I might not have the skill, I might not have the time, I might not have the resources to do them, but I'm really trying to zero in on specific ways I could communicate each of these points. So in this case, for the past system, I'll just read off a couple things real quick. Um, had like an animated fire, whether it's in an office or a cube or a hallway or a kitchen, maybe even a video of the process for pulling the pin. We had, you know, close up of a finger on the pin, a silhouette of the extinguisher, um, a close up of the actual pin, um, aiming low, you know, like a scope or a radar to kind of aim and show that aiming, maybe a person bending down and so on. So you kind of come up with these high level concepts and then you start to look back and say, what's reasonable? Well, you know, I, I definitely, um, you know, could do something with an office setting. A close-up of the pen is certainly possible because it's actually part of the clip art, so I don't have to do anything new or create anything there. Um, point extinguisher to the ground. All I have to do is rotate the extinguisher there. I don't have to do any additional development work, uh, squeeze the handle, and so on. So a nice, quick approach for really kind of brainstorming what the concepts are and then kind of creating a column of desired or possible uh, media lists, and then you know you kind of go back and say, well, what's possible with my time or my skill or my resources? So when we get back into say PowerPoint, here's what the final animation looked like. We used the same graphic. We rotated it a couple different times, right? We broke it apart in order to get that pin out. So we just created a simple animation with that pin, and then synced each of the parts of the acronym. Uh, with the actual animation. And then we did summarize it with these icons. And these icons, again, could be used to pull this out. And then, you know, you, as you click each of these, a, a, a definition box could come up or another animation or, or sub uh, course or sub slide could actually explain that process. But it's another possibility for communicating um, narration through images and animations. And it really, I mean, even the sweeping right here. Uh, pretty simple, right? It could have been more complex, but it's just a gradient uh, triangle that uh, we have three different versions that actually rotate up and back as a way to put out the fire flames. And the fire flame, again, was nothing but a single flame uh, clip art that we broke apart into three different um, uh, sizes of the flame. So it just comes up and then animates back down. So if we look at, say, the animation here, it's just a series of... Um, you know, the fire flame grows, the fire extinguisher pin animates out, the spray comes out and the fire goes down. So a real simple approach to communicating what otherwise originally was a, a slide full of text, then became a slide with some animations and some other graphics. Again, from an informational perspective, but certainly as a way to reduce a lot of that on-screen text.